my God is awesome. Come on, church. He can move mountains. Guess what? Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he will reign. Come on, sing it to him. My God is awesome. He's awesome. Awesome. We love you, Jesus. Awesome. Awesome. My God is awesome. Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. By his stripes I am healed. My God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I am living. Praise his holy name. Sing it, church. My God is awesome. He is awesome. Awesome. So awesome. 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 He's mighty. Come on. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. Awesome. Awesome. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. Awesome. Awesome. He's great. Come on. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. Awesome. Awesome. Deliver up. Deliver up. Deliver up. Deliver up. Awesome. Awesome. Provider. 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 He's awesome. He's awesome. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I join my faith with your people on this morning. Minister to each and every one of them. Bring direction into their lives. Bring peace. Bring comfort. Bring healing. Bring a financial breakthrough. A turnaround. Lift the burdens that's on your people this morning. Give them victory. Turn that test into a testimony. Turn that trial into triumph, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover your people. I cover them in the blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say amen. I want to take you into the book of Psalms chapter 37. God is for you. The Bible says, fret not thyself because of evildoers. The word fret right there actually means to be burned with anger. Don't allow them to get you so angry that it breaks your focus and throw you off course and, you know, cause you to become bitter and unforgiving because then God can't fight for you. If you become bitter, unforgiving, and if you start fighting back in your own flesh, God can't, then God's hands are tied. But God said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Listen, you know, Pharaoh and his Egyptian army, they thought they were getting away with how they treated God people. But did God pay them back? Nobody can pay someone back like God can. Now watch this. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. David said, when he saw the prosperity of the wicked, David said, my feet almost slipped, I almost backslid over it. That these people can be so demonic and so hateful and such thieves 
ripping off godly people, taking advantage of the poor, and doing all kinds of stuff, and getting away with it. David said, when I saw that, I almost backslid. I almost thought there was no God, you know? <laughs> so he said, fret not thyself. Be, because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Why? For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord, saints. Put your confidence in God. Put your hope in him. Put your faith in God and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed. Even if God have to send the ravens, if he have to send unexpected people, if he have to provide for you in a way that seems totally impossible to man, God is going to take care of you. Listen to verse four. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Why? Because he shall give you the desires of your heart. That word delight right there actually means to become pliable in the hands of God. It means to surrender. Let God do in your life whatever it is he wants to do. And when you delight yourself in the Lord, when you become pliable in his hands, he shall give you the desires of your heart. And I'll tell you why God will give you the desires of your heart. I'm talking about godly desires, things that's birthed in you by the Holy Ghost. You want more in life. You want better in life. You want a good husband. Are you hearing me? You want a good wife. You want a good job. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with desiring to prosper and be in health. Are you hearing me? These are good things. Are you hearing me? To have a deeper walk with God. To have a greater relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. To have an understanding of his word. There's a whole lot of good things that you can desire. And the Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Listen to verse 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. The word commit means to just release everything to God. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. Guess what? And he shall bring it to pass. I tell you what, when God brings it to pass, listen here, friends. I said, when God brings it to pass in your life, it is so much more better than if you would have did it without God. There ain't nothing like when God brings it to pass. My God, I'm sitting in one of the promises of God right now and enjoying the promises of God. <laughs> Listen to verse six. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the known day. Remember the Bible says, when you pray in secret, God will reward you openly. Everyone is going to know. This only could have been God on their side. Listen to verse seven. Rest in the Lord. And you know, sometimes you, you are so caught up in the struggles of life and praying, even praying, fasting, studying your word, believing God. The fight is so intense sometimes that you forget to rest in the Lord. That word means to just let go, to sit back, relax, trust God, rest in the Lord. Quit trying to do it in your own strength. Quit trying to figure everything out. And then some of you are so analytical that you talk yourself out of the promise of God into unbelief. So watch this. So he says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Don't try to get even with him. Let God do it, friends. You know, fighting back is such a temptation, man. I'm just telling you. You know, some person that sent me some nasty email and man, come on, let, let's, let's, can I be real with you this morning? And I was just firing away back, typing, getting this nice email and just pretty much blast them right clean out of their seat when they open that email and just when I was about to press that send button. Oh, the conviction of the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. God said, you know what? If you answer a fool in his foolishness, you are no different from him. God quoted to me Proverbs. Well, you know, it was much easier to press the lead after that. Well, I discarded that email. You got to let God fight your battles. Don't try to do it yourself, my friends. Are you hearing me? So he said, 
He said in verse 9, for evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. That's what Isaiah said. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not, and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Friend, I want to say to you again on this morning, God is for you. Play the anthem for me. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come on, help me sing that thing on this morning. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. The death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. You see it. You see it in majesty. You are the risen King. Sing it this morning. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not pull you down. You are the risen King. You're seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Saints, on this morning, I want to give you a chance to support the work of God, to sow a seed into the kingdom of the living God. This is God's work that we are involved in. We can't do this without you. You can do so. You can give right now online by visiting us on our Secured Ministry website, seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing in your donations. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011 11-7442. And remember, if this word have been a blessing in your life, dear friends, Remember to share this message. Share this with your friends on Twitter, on Facebook, through Facebook Messenger, through WhatsApp, through Pinterest, through Snapchat, through LinkedIn. Just help me get this message around the world. Are you listening to me? If you did not have a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can do so right now by clicking on that subscribe button. I know this will be a blessing to your life because we go live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. and also Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 